What's going on guys? Welcome back to Is It Really Epic and today we're gonna be going over the newly buffed DMR1 spectacle and this thing has gotten a huge improvement and it's a beast to say the least. So we're gonna jump into the gameplay, we're gonna go over the stats, show you what it's all about, what they did to improve this weapon and all that good stuff. Now, to start off, I just want to say the best weapon to compare this to is obviously the M1. So there's going to be a lot of comparisons because if you have the M1, you can kind of get a good feel of how the DMR1 Spectacle is going to play now. So prior to February 3rd where we got this patch for all the updated weapons, you know, they nerfed some weapons, they buffed some weapons. But prior to February 3rd, the DMR1 Spectacle, somehow Infinity War just slapped a custom reflex on this weapon. And they decided to call it epic and that was the end of the story that's all the DMR had to offer for you as an epic variant so I was not going to review this weapon because one I hate the DMR in my opinion it's one of the worst snipers and two this epic variant was not really epic and it was almost pitiful to try to go over it but again they made a huge improvement to this thing and you know they must have listened to somebody because this is exactly what it needed so Previously again all they did custom reflex sight and focus which reduces the idle sway So the idle sway has not changed at all. They kept that secondary perk But our first perk our primary perk of reflex so we kept the custom reflex sight It's the only weapon only sniper that can have a reflex sight Which is nice and it's the only reflex sight in the game that allows you to have a tracking chip So it's really cool and it's really helpful and it's an added benefit to having that reflex sight now so you know the enemies highlight like a greenish yellowish color so if they're head glitching if they're laying down maybe you miss them in the corner of your eye but this will kind of help you find them a little easier and there's no complaints on having an added in feature like that but the biggest thing that they did to improve this weapon was the ADS time so before even though you were using it like an assault rifle it still had the ADS time of a sniper rifle so it was close to like 400 milliseconds which as you know for a sniper if you've ever used a sniper Aiming down the sights sucked, like scoping in, if you ever tried to throw like an elo sight on a sniper, you know aiming down the sights sucked. So they pretty much cut that almost in half, so there's no hard coded stats for my hand testing with this thing. The M1 pulls up at 240 milliseconds, and I would honestly say the new DMR spectacle probably pulls up at around 260 or 250. You know, it's, it's very close, again, just hand testing, there's no hard coded stats but it's almost within a couple of frames of pulling up from the M1. Now obviously if you throw on quick draw, it's going to pull up a lot faster than the M1, which is nice. And that was really a required attachment for me to use this successfully. So the class setup I was using with the spectacle that made it an absolute beast was, I was using the grip and I was using the ballistic CPU and there was absolutely no recoil. And that was simply amazing. And that's what made it really nice because there's no recoil extremely powerful it's a two shot kill to the body and it's a one shot kill if you can connect with the head so if you're running around you know you just happen to jump around close range mid-range battles and you shoot an enemy in the head that is going to take them out in one shot and it's just really really rewarding no way no way no way now like i was saying you can compare it with the m1 so it's a little more powerful than the M1 in my opinion. The ADS time is very, very close. Although you can reload with this thing, which is nice. So that's like the one downfall of the M1, as you guys know. You cannot reload it. You have to empty the entire clip before you can throw a new clip in. So you can reload the DMR1 still, but it is still a sniper. So you do get sniper glare. So that's still one thing to know. Even though you have this reflex sight, you still have sniper glare. So people can kind of tell you're using a sniper. They don't know which variant you have or what sniper you have but they do know you have a sniper now for my hardcore players this thing is actually usable at first I thought I was gonna have a tough time I jumped into a lot of hardcore games I actually threw on the silencer because it just made this thing a lot more fun and it plays really well obviously you're going to lose more close range battles but it is still a great gun to have for medium to long range battles due to the fact that there's not a lot of recoil and it's very accurate and it's just I mean it should be it's a sniper but again, it plays really well in hardcore. Just stay away from close range battles. Now, would I go out and spend 4,000 salvage on this? Probably not. But if I do get it in a supply drop, it is, in my opinion, the best DMR variant out there right now. But again, it's, you have the M1. They're so close. I mean, this one's a little more powerful. And, you know, you can reload with it, get that one shot headshot. And it's just all around a really fun weapon. But I really don't think that you need to spend 4,000 salvage when you can unlock the M1 for free. 
So unless you have every other variant in the game, and this is the last guy you unlock, chances are you're not going to drop 4,000 salvage on this. But it is really fun. It's really powerful. It was in need of this huge buff, and it finally got it, and I'm so happy to see it. So that's always a positive. It's good to see that they're listening. They understand some of the flaws of the game, and they're fixing them pretty, pretty quick in my opinion. But that's going to be a wrap on this video. Stay tuned because we're going to be going over the EBR Osiris, which also received a huge buff. So that will be the next video coming out. So stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.